There is a reason we do not call it Bad Friday. One would think there are many reasons to call it Bad Friday. We read of what Jesus endured on this day, how they gambled over his clothes, how they scoffed and mocked him, how they beat him and abused him. But even while a lot of bad is happening, something good is at work. Someone is doing good work. On an evening, when we are faced with the uncomfortable reality of Jesus' death, we are also faced with the opportunity to gain great comfort that while Jesus experienced so much punishment, he was able to let others experience grace. We can find comfort in knowing that Jesus prayed to God to find forgiveness for the very people who were killing him. Hate did not win. We can find comfort in knowing that Jesus offered to be the companion of the thief as they both left their earthly life behind and entered paradise together. Loneliness did not win. We can find comfort in knowing that Jesus found a new family, a new son for his mom. Abandonment did not win. We can find comfort in knowing that in his deepest despair, Jesus had the courage to ask where God, his Father, was. Cowardice did not win. We can find comfort in knowing that Jesus knew what it was like to thirst and go without proper nourishment. Hunger did not win. We can find comfort in knowing that Jesus finished the task he was sent to do. Failure did not win. And we can find comfort in knowing that Jesus placed his entire trust in his Father's hands. Doubt did not win. We can find comfort knowing that even on the worst day of his life, Jesus, God, was still in control. If anyone should call it Bad Friday, it is the devil. For hate, loneliness, abandonment, cowardice, hunger, failure, and doubt did not win. All the outcomes were bad for the devil and good for us. Yes, our Savior did suffer, but he did it for a reason. That reason was us getting us back once and for all. There is a reason we do not call it Bad Friday, and we never will. <laughs>